What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I have a huge haul for you guys. I've always loved YouTube, but I just remember growing up, I literally always watched haul videos all the time. And I'm so excited to be doing my first one. This is going to be a try-on haul. I think that haul videos that aren't try-ons are just like, I'm not shitting on them or anything. I just don't think hauls that don't have try-ons are like, very fun to me only because I really like to see how the pieces look on and how they flatter the body and just I feel like you can tell the quality of something whenever you have it on a little bit better than whenever you're just holding it up. This is going to be a misguided and pretty little thing haul. What I love about misguided and pretty little thing is it's usually always 40 or 50 percent off all of their stuff so you could spend like a thousand dollars but only have to pay 500 so that's what I did. I kind of just like loaded up on like so many things that I wanted, like basics, comfortable things, some cute little things that you can dress up. And then I obviously used the discount code to get 50% off and I saved a ton of money but was able to get so many things. Um, by the way, I am newer here on YouTube, so if you like what I'm about, you like my videos, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I did get a ton of pieces and I will say that there were a good handful that I will be returning. I'm still gonna be showing you guys the pieces that I'm gonna be returning just in case y'all are looking at them and interested in buying them. Just so I can be like, no girl, don't spend your money on that. You can spend it on other things. Like I said, since this is my first haul video and try on haul video, um, bear with me on like the try on aspect of it. I have a full body mirror and I think that I'm just gonna use that. I know I've seen like tons of people do it differently where They'll have their camera set up and they'll kind of like stand from a distance and show it that way. But I don't really mind whenever people do it in the mirror. So that's what I'm going to do just because I have to work with what I have. And I just don't think I have like a good setup right now to like do it whenever I'm a little bit more away from the camera that way. So bear with me on that part, but we're going to make this work. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting with what I have on right now, this white basic v-neck. I don't know if I'd call this a v-neck, it's kind of like, I'm not sure what I would call this, but you can kind of get the gist. Um, it's just a basic white tee, it is so soft, it's like the best material ever, super flowy, it's not fitted, I really love this top. What I love about this top is that I feel like I could wear this with like black jeans and a leather jacket and then dress it up with like really good jewelry, but then also right now I'm wearing it with sweats and I could just wear it as like a comfortable basic or maybe even with leggings to the gym. So I really love this top. And then moving on to the bottoms. These bottoms are so comfortable. It's just like a jogger sweatpant. They have a nice lines on the side for detailing. And this beautiful taupe color. They have a tie waistband. I do feel like the crotch area, <laughs> sorry, I have to say it, is like a little bit like baggy. Like, I don't know, it's just like a little big in that area. But like, I don't think it's like terrible at the end of the day. It's fine, it's not that big of a deal. I think maybe if I sized down, it would have looked a little bit better. But that's them. I think they're so cute, they're the perfect length. And what I love about this outfit I have on now is that I can either wear it to lounge so I have slippers on or I can throw on some sneakers and it would be like a really cute running errands look. All right, so I threw on some Air Forces and I think that this is like such a good look if I was just to go out and run errands or maybe even like a cute lunch with like a cute jacket over the top. I love this with the Air Forces. I think it looks so, so good. And it's a super casual, comfy look. All right, so the next thing that I picked up was this really cute half sip Borg hoodie that says NYC on the bottom half of it. At first, I didn't really love the placement of the NYC. Like online, it just looked super cute to me. And since I travel to New York very often, since my boyfriend lives there, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Um, I didn't like love the placement of it, but now that I have it on and it's like super duper comfortable, I don't really mind it. And I think that with just like leggings and like lounging with like slippers or maybe even like wearing this out with like a jacket over it and some like sneakers, I think that it would be okay. So I am going to keep this, but it's like the best material ever. It's so cozy and it has a functional zipper. So you can zip it up or leave it down, whatever you prefer. I actually would recommend this piece because of how comfortable it is. And I also looked on their website to get like a set that's similar to the Skims Borg sets. 
Um, but unfortunately, they didn't have my size. But whenever they come back in stock, I'm probably going to be getting a matching jogger in the same material and then probably a cropped hoodie with just the Borg with no like letters or anything on it. All right, so now I have on this oversized taupe hoodie. And I'll be very honest, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I also got it in gray as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I feel like I could get a better one from Misguided only because after purchasing the things I did from Pretty Little Thing and then Misguided, I think that Misguided is better quality than Pretty Little Thing. That's just my personal opinion. Just because everything I got from Misguided I'm keeping and then there was like so many things from Pretty Little Thing that I just didn't love the quality of or the fit of and it just like looked very cheap. Or maybe it just like didn't flatter me the way that it would somebody else, I don't know. Um, but I am kind of unsure if I'm gonna keep this or not, but it's still like cute. Like you can just like throw it on with some leggings, some sneakers, I have it on with slippers just cause I'm lounging around the house. It is very soft on the inside though, I will say. And if you guys are looking for like a cheaper oversized hoodie then I, I would probably look at misguided first, but if you didn't find one on there, then like this would be a good sweatshirt. I like it, don't get me wrong. I just think that the sweatshirts that I got from misguided feel a little bit better, and if they have it in this color, then I'm probably gonna return it and then repurchase from misguided. All right, so this is it in gray, and like I said with the tan one, it's not that they're bad quality. I think it's more so just they're very thin. Uh, the sweatshirts that I got from misguided are a little bit thicker, and they feel just a little bit more sturdy, and that they'll last a little bit longer. But I haven't really fully decided if I'm gonna get rid of these yet. It's not that I don't like them, I just almost think that I could get the same thing but better from Misguided. Okay, while I have the gray hoodie on, I wanted to show you guys what I had intended on wearing this with, which is these gray sweat joggers. I almost don't even wanna film myself in these because they're so unflattering on me. I got a few joggers from Misguided and I literally love the quality of them. They're so comfortable and they're very flattering. And these are just not it. Like. I hate the waistband, it's like, there's no waistband to where you can have a tie with it. And I don't know, I just don't think that they flatter my body very well. And I just kind of hate, like I'll be honest, I kind of hate the material and the quality of these. So these definitely will be returned, but I just wanted to film and like let you guys know, cause like online they look so much better quality. And I just don't think that that was very accurate. So these will be returned, and if you guys are thinking about purchasing joggers, sweatpants, whatever from them, I would definitely check out Misguided before so, and then kind of make your decision based on the differences, because Misguided joggers are so much better quality to me, and they're just like more flattering. I don't know what it is. These are just not, these are just not it. And again, with the taupe joggers, these just are not it. One, I think I could have probably sized up, but even if I had a size bigger, like, I don't like the quality of these at all. They're not comfortable. If you roll them, they do have a drawstring. Sorry, I'm sunburnt. They do have a drawstring, but these still just are not, like, not even close to the quality of the misguided joggers that I purchased and absolutely love. And whenever I show you guys, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna be returning these as well. So I'm pretty much starting out with like all lounge stuff and then I'm gonna get into like the cuter pieces that you can dress up. But another lounge set that I got <laughs> that I literally loved on the website, it looked so good on the model, the color was so good, it was like a yellowy. I just, when I tried it on, I was very, very disappointed. One, these are just like very big looking and I got them in the same size as like the other pants. So I don't know why those ones were like very tight and fitted on me and these are like very large. They're also extremely long. I'm 5'9", so like things are never long on me. So if you're shorter and you're looking at this, you either need to get it hemmed and sized down or you just need to like forget about it. I know it looks super cute on the website. I'll give you that, I thought the same thing, but I don't know, I just don't think that this is worth the money. And then also this matching top. I do love the color of it. It's kind of like a light yellow with like a little bit of taupe into it. And it has these cute like pretty little thing bands around both of them. Which I, if this was more fitted and this looked like more flattering, I would totally keep it. Because it's not like the quality is bad. Like if I returned this and got it in a size down for both pieces, then I would probably keep it. But I just don't really want to waste my time with like returning it and getting it in another size. And also it doesn't have pockets, which like if... Things don't have pockets for me. I just kind of all of a sudden do not like them. But I don't know, like I'm not gonna totally shit on this, but 
I don't know. Definitely not my favorite. Like, it looked very good online, but I would just, like, be careful. And if you do get it, size down, and you'll probably need to get it hemmed. I even have these folded. Like, if they weren't folded, it would just look crazy. Like, even, even baggier. I just look so wild in this. Oh, my goodness. And not in a good way. All right. I literally feel so bad because I feel like every piece I try on, I'm just, like, not loving and I'm returning. But, like I said, I just want to be transparent. I would rather you guys know the quality of something than be like, oh, yeah, this is super good. You know, like, whenever I know at the end of the day I'm returning it. This is kind of another one of those tops that I just don't know about. So, it's a graphic tee. And, to be honest, I don't even know how to say this. Yosemite or Yosemite. I don't know, <laughs> I'll be honest. So on the website, I'm pretty much 100% positive that this was advertised to be an oversized tee and I love a good oversized tee and I even sized up because I wanted, to do, I wanted it to be that much bigger and like this is not oversized by any means, it's almost fitted. Like, that's just not oversized to me. Um, it's not that it's bad quality, I just like really intended this to be an oversized t-shirt and I could throw it on with some like either joggers or leggings and like sneakers and I don't know, this just wasn't it, it wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, it's still really cute, like I don't, I don't not like the top, I don't think it's bad quality, I just had a certain like envision of like how I would pair it and it just wasn't it. So I will be returning this one, but if you guys like this top, like if you like the graphic and you don't mind that it's fitted, then I would totally say go for it. It's still a good top, it's good quality, and it's still cute at the end of the day, just not really what I had hoped it to be. Since I'm on a roll on returns and pieces that I don't really love, I'm going to just continue it and get it out of the way, and I promise we'll get to pieces that I like. So this, for one, like, that's just not going to work. The button came kind of like that, where it's like not completely sewn on, so it's pulling, and that's just not a cute look to me. Also, I even got this a size too big, I believe, as well, to kind of have an oversized fit, and it's still very fitted. Um, I love this top. I think it's super cute, and if this button was not ruined, I would probably consider keeping it and wearing it with like a high-waisted jean and like a flannel over the top but I just that's very like not cute to me <laughs> this will be returned but the quality is really good other than that little like mishap but I'm sure not every piece is like that and I just like I said with the other piece I don't really want to like go through the trouble of returning it and getting it like in a better size and like a better quality like a one that like isn't pulled like this. All right, the next piece that I grabbed was this cropped tan zip up hoodie. It's so cute, super soft on the inside, and I also got it in gray, so I'm gonna show you that one really quick. All right, so here's the same zip up in gray. I really like these hoodies, but whenever I bought them, I pictured on, or I planned on wearing them with the joggers, and since the joggers didn't work, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these, not because I don't like them, but I really only like wanted to wear them with a matching jogger. I might buy, or I know that I'm going to purchase like joggers and those colors on Misguided only because I know that I trust Misguided and they're gonna look really good. Um, but I'm almost scared that like, what if the shades won't be the exact same and then I can't really wear them together. So I'm probably gonna be returning these, but not because I don't love them. Like they're super comfortable and they're cute. It's like a really cute crop and they're very soft on the inside, but just like with the other things, I envisioned it to look a certain way and since like one piece kind of fell through, I don't think that I'm going to be keeping this one. Alright you guys, we're finally back to pieces that we like and that we're keeping. I absolutely love this oversized graphic sweatshirt. Um, it just says Colorado on it. The graphic is so cute. It's really earthy tones and it's a good oversized fit. It's super soft on the inside. I've worn this every single night as my pajamas and it's just so, so cute to me. I absolutely 100% would recommend this. All right, you guys, we have finally made it into some cuter pieces. So starting with this black bodysuit, this has a very similar neck as the white tee that I had on in the beginning of the video. This is so, so good. I love this bodysuit. What I love about it is I feel like I could wear this with like black joggers and my Air Forces, but then also I can wear it with like these cute jeans, maybe even a leather jacket and some good jewelry and dress it up. So it's super versatile. So yeah, I really love this one and I would 100% recommend this. The next piece is also a bodysuit, but it's this beautiful taupe color. 
I love this piece so much. I absolutely love the neckline. I think it's so elegant. And just like the last bodysuit, I feel like I can wear this with like a taupe pair of joggers and some sneakers, but then also how I have it now with some jeans and some Air Forces. I think it's so cute with some jewelry. So another versatile piece that I absolutely recommend. These bodysuits are so affordable and will go such a long way. I have two more bodysuits to show you guys, but before we get into those, I want to talk about this beautiful coat. It is so, so good. I just got back from New York last weekend and this coat kept me so warm. Not only is it gonna keep you warm, but it's super stylish. Has these buttons, double breasted, and then two pockets on the side. And this is their midi coat. They also have one that goes all the way down, like not quite to the ground, but to your ankles. But I really liked the fit of this one. It's so cute. And if you guys are gonna pick up anything, I think that it should either be these bodysuits or this coat. It's so, so good. All right, back to bodysuits. I have no words for this. It is the most beautiful neckline. I love the earthy tone. It's like a taupey color. It is so comfortable. It fits so well. And just like all the bodysuits, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point, but it's just super versatile. You can dress it up or you can dress it down based on like whatever you have planned for the day. I absolutely love it. I can't get over the neckline. I think it's so, so beautiful. And before I change bodysuits, I just wanted to show you guys this oversized flannel that I am pairing it with. This is such a beautiful flannel. I love the color scheme of this. It's like earthy tones with some blacks, browns, taupes. I think it looks so good with this bodysuit. And these jeans, super casual but very cute outfit. I at first didn't know how I felt about it because it's not the material of a flannel. I'm not sure what material this is. But um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it in the beginning. I was kind of going to return it. But now that I see what it looks like with this, I'm having second thoughts. So I think we're going to keep this one. Last bodysuit, I promise. Just like the taupe one that I had, I absolutely love the neckline. I love a high neck. It's so elegant looking. This one is a little bit more sheer, so you can kind of see the nude bra through it. But whenever I wore it last weekend, I paired it with just a white sports bra underneath, and it looked perfect. It was fine. I love the way this looks with just casual jeans and some sneakers. I think it looks so effortless, but it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. And if you just throw it on with some jewelry, you got to look. The last piece from Pretty Little Thing is this amazing freaking puffer. It is a Bork cropped puffer, and when I tell you this thing is thick, it is thick. This is going to keep you very warm. For an, a very affordable jacket that keeps you warm, that's perfect. I love it so much. It's super soft, it's long enough on the arms, and it's so cute. You can dress it up or down, just like pretty much every single piece that I picked up from here. All right, we are now into misguided pieces. Let's start with the sweater. I absolutely love this roll neck sweater. I will say that I tucked this into my bra for more of a cropped look. I'll show you how long it actually is in a minute, but it's so soft, it's such good quality, and it's like in this beautiful camel color. And now I'm going to show you the real length of it. So this is the sweater untucked, and I just think obviously this looks like super unflattering. It's very oversized, which I've had, if I had leggings on with it, then I would say maybe I could wear it untucked and like cover the butt with sneakers or something. But I definitely think I like it with a tuck better than untucked. We have made our way back to the comfy clothes, which is my favorite. And I cannot say enough how much I love this outfit. It is joggers and a sweatshirt. This woman thought it was like a jumpsuit, which I could totally understand because this sweatshirt is so good. It cinches in the waist and is so flattering. And then I just want to talk about these sweatpants for a second because I totally hated the pretty little thing joggers. And it's because of how good these are these are such good quality they have a thickness to them but not too thick to where it's unflattering they cinch at the waist and they have a good cinch at the ankle for like a cute jogger look great pockets the pockets aren't too thick on the inside either and these sweatpants are just like super flattering like the other ones just were not good to me and that's why i'm returning them because i would rather get sweatpants from misguided and the colors that I wanted from pretty little thing and actually have like a good quality sweatpant and then this sweatshirt is such good quality too it's so cozy on the inside I have 
pretty much lived in this outfit for the past like two weeks. I absolutely love it and I think you guys should pick this up. It is so cute if you want to lounge but you can also dress it up with like some Air Forces and a jean jacket maybe or even that teddy coat that I had on. I wore that around New York a little bit too and I think that that looked super cute with it. All right, so I have the same sweatpants on now but I have a different sweatshirt on. I love this sweatshirt so, so much. It's so flattering because it has like a corset bottom to it and then it has a hood on the back but it's more fitted. So I love whenever I wear like fitted tops with joggers. I think it just like dresses it up a little bit more and makes it look more put together. Um, this looks so, so good to me. You could wear this with sneakers as well. I just have slippers on. But yeah, this is really, really good. They have this in multiple colors as well. You could grab a black one and wear it with some leggings and dress it up. It would look so cute. I think I might do that myself. And last but not least, I have the same hoodie, but just in this green color. I love these hoodies so much, only because I think they're so flattering. I obviously would not wear it with these. I just did not feel like changing pants. Um, it cinches in the waist, and it's just so good. Like I said, whenever I was talking about the Pretty Little Thing hoodies, they just like didn't have like the thickness that I was looking for. And because I fell in love with these and they're probably the same price, that's why I want to return them and get like a little bit better of a quality. It's not that I didn't like those, it's just now that I see these and they're probably in the same price range, I just think it'd be better to return those and then get the same colors from Misguided. So that's this one, I absolutely love it. It's so cozy, this literally to me looks like a high-end sweatshirt, for sure, 100%. Holy cow, after filming that video, I have an entirely new appreciation for haul videos, especially try on haul videos. First of all, this entire amount of clothing behind me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and also being patient with the quality of this video. I know that the try on aspect of it could have been so much better, but this was my first haul and I think for being my first try on haul, wasn't terrible. <laughs> um, I will have everything linked in the description below. And if you guys like this video and like what I'm about, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.